Hi, this is my second video about subtitles in Plex and I came across a couple movies I want to add to my server that were good examples to talk about both external and internal subtitles. So the first, I've got this older video, um, The Woman in the Window from 1944 with Edward G. Robinson in the MKV um, container format. And if you're not sure what an internal subtitle is, you can really just click on the video and open it up and you'll we'll see. Let's pause it so we don't get any copyright strikes. We'll go to the subtitle heading and look at the subtrack and you'll see that it's already set as an English subtitle. Sometimes you'll have an internal subtitle and it'll just say track one with nothing after it, no description. Or maybe there'll be two subtitle tracks one Spanish and one's English, but it doesn't say what they are. So an internal subtitle like this, in either an MKV format or an MP4 format, can be manipulated with the following program. This is a Linux desktop. I'm running Elementary OS, which is Ubuntu-based, and I'm just right-clicking and choosing Open with MKV Tool Nix. So when this opens up, you'll see that I have four files. I have the chapter information, I have the subtitles, I have the audio file, and I have the actual video file. This is why both the MKVs and the MP4s are really just a container file that holds the separate media files. So if we click on the subtitles, and say you knew the first one was English and the second one was Spanish and they were unlabeled, you could come in here and set the, the language for it. Maybe there was a forced subtitle and it wasn't set with a forced track. You could change that here too by just selecting yes instead of no. So say you had a movie and it had multiple subtitles and they weren't labeled. Well, you could label the English one and then simply uncheck the unneeded subtitles and go down and click Start Multiplexing. And you'll see this is really just zipping the container back up without those two files. It's not re-encoding the video. All right, so that's finished. We'll close this. And you'll see that I now have a, an almost duplicate file. If we open that, it no longer has a subtitle track. So let me get rid of this. So some people think you can only use MKV tool mix on an MKV file because it may not be associated by default with MP4 files. I'm not going to associate it, but if you already have MKV tool mix opened up, like I am with the same MKV, I can ditch this file by right clicking on it and choosing remove. And then I can add a file, and now I can add that MP4. So this only has the video and the audio included in the container file. It doesn't have a subtitle file. But if it did, you could manipulate those or reset the flags or label them as needed with this same program. So that's internal subtitles in either of these file formats. Let's go to... Well, first of all, let me copy this to the server, get that going. We'll cut it, and I'm going to put this in my crime folder. So now we're back to this movie. So if we start this, let's pause it, and go to subtitles, you'll see there's nothing listed. Even though on this piece of acquired media, I have three subtitles here. Sometimes people are confused because why are there three subtitles? What do I do with all three? Well, it's really easy to figure out. Usually there's just two, unless the movie has foreign language parts, and then there'd be a third one for the forced subtitle. So the largest subtitle, this one, 5 English, you'll see is 67.8 kilobytes as opposed to the smallest one which is just 3 kilobytes. Well the largest one is usually the um, 
SDH subtitle for the hearing impaired. And the, the next subtitle, next smallest one, would be the Plain Jane subtitle, while the smallest one would be the Forced subtitle. So all I'm going to do is label these correctly, and then we'll open up in VLC and you'll see um, how they look there, and then we'll copy it to the server and we'll see how it looks on the Plex server too. So I'm just going to cheat and copy what I need to. So this is the plain English subtitle, the medium sized one. And this one is the SDR one. I'm sorry, SDH. I knew something was wrong. And then last but not least, the smallest one is the forced. So now that they're all labeled correctly, if we open the media file back up, and now I go to the subtitle track in VLC, you'll see forced SDH in English. All as it should be. I wish I could play it without having a copyright strike to show you how the force actually works once the movie's playing. So let's put that on my server now. And we all organize our media differently. Please no comments on my choice of how to organize my media. Everybody does it their own way and whatever works best for you. I kind of break things up into genre subfolders or sometimes a collection subfolder. It works for me. All right, so while that's copying, let's move to the server and we'll see the woman in the window has added and Plex knows that there's a subtitle but it's off and I can turn the English SRT on. Sometimes people get confused here because if you don't have a subtitle Plex can load one through open subs. So if I press play and get past my pre-roll and let's pause it again and go to settings I can choose the subtitle that's already an internal subtitle or I can search for subtitles and this is where it connects to open subtitles. This can't be automatic. If you have a subtitle included with a file either as an internal or an external subtitle those can be set to play automatically with a global subtitle settings of Plex which we'll get to with the other video. So people are confused. These are the subtitles we're connecting to manually through open subtitles. This is the internal subtitle or it could be an external subtitle. And I could, I could actually go out to open subtitles or subscene, download my own subtitles, name them properly, put them with a file, and they would show up here too. Let's kill that video and see if the other movie is on yet. Alright, so Legacy of Lies is the one we just added with the three separate external subtitle files. So on my server, I have it set to play the four subtitles automatically, and you'll see how that's already set. So if I just hit play, when the foreign language parts are spoken, these subtitles will pop on the screen. If I wanted to change to the hearing impaired ones, and that would be, instead of just the dialogue, you might read on the screen that music is playing, or spooky music is playing, or machine noise, or car tire screeching, all the extra info that a deaf person would want, instead of a, a, a person who's not deaf who just wants to be able to read some dialogue that might be hard to hear. So all three of these are here by default. So if we wanted to 
look at the language settings in Plex. So I'm in the US, so my preferred audio track would be English, and my subtitle mode is shown with foreign audio. If I wanted subtitles to always be enabled, I would click this. But this setting is only good if your media has either an internal or an external subtitle. If it doesn't have a subtitle included, this will not do anything for you, and you'll have to manually connect to a subtitle through open subtitles once the movie is already playing. So, took me a while to figure out subtitles, but they're pretty easy now. Um, let's go back. So say, say I had a movie here, but it was in French or German, and there were only English subtitles, but the audio was a foreign language. All I'd have to do is label that subtitle properly for English. It would be .eng .srt. And as long as the movie had the audio track labeled properly for German or, or French or, or whatever, when we loaded that movie up in Plex, because of my forced English subtitle setting, that would also load the default English subtitle um, by, by default because the f language wasn't English. That was kind of the last piece of the puzzle that had to come together for me to properly do subtitles. It's not often we put a movie on our servers that has um, a foreign audio track, but it works. So that's about it, fellow Plexers. I hope this video was helpful, and please remember I am not a professional YouTuber, no special mics, I'm not hawking a VPN, I'm not making any money off the video, it's just to help the guys and gals in three or four different Plex groups on Facebook. Thank you for your time, take care.